first hole almost finished. Basically I'm just programming these that to hit finished each hole individually uh, using this as my guide. This I made earlier. It's a fixture that allows me to spot drill through from here. It took quite a bit of making from steel. The setup on here is really quite awkward to say the least. It's a big piece of metal. If I stand back you can see how much room it takes on the mill. And we're almost at the maximum height we can work at. But there's enough room to drill the tapping size drill which is all I need. The idea is I set this up. I set the engine up in here by running a parallel off here and then taking my Heimer edge finder and running it along the edge till I got this set square and I then put the Heimer on the top face, made sure it was set, let me just turn that off a second, made sure it was set uh, running flat and parallel to the machine face. That took me about two or three hours to level everything off. It, it took, well not two or three hours but certainly well over an hour uh, just to level, get it level both in that plane, in the X plane and the Y plane. Um, the reason that was difficult was because I haven't got the dummy shaft to fit in here. However, now that the bearings are fitted, that's more or less obsolete. And the pro the, What I'm going to do next well, what I did was I set this up on here once I got that flat. So it ran parallel along this face and along the X face. So that was the setup. Quite an elaborate setup, really. I've clamped it here on the inside, about the only place I can find to clamp it safely. Drilled my first hole. I will then probably move on and drill the four outer holes, uh, finish them, and drill and tap them so I can clamp this down. Do the inner four holes, drill and tap them, and then go ahead and bore this out. Once I've you know, just leave this plate as a guide, I can centre on here and then uh, do the rest of the machining, you know, from there. So that's the, and that will be real progress on this engine because then the cylinder block will fit, and I'll be able to concentrate on getting on some of the myriad of holes that need uh, drilling and tapping and uh, opening out. But other than that, it's, it's, a, it's a nice bit of progress. There we are. Now you can see I've fitted a bolt in this hole here and tapped it while it was in the machine and made a bolt to fit. Next thing, well, I'll run up this row of holes. I'll do this hole first, the end hole, because these end holes are all slightly deeper than the four inner holes. So it just means I can keep the same program. I've just got to set my zero to the centre of that hole, and this one, and this one, and I can do. I could, if I wanted, in theory, go along and centre each hole. I might even do that. I might give it a try and uh, see how successful I am with it. But sometimes I have problems finding centres. So I don't know if it's inaccuracies in my tooling or me. But anyway, I know that that's on zero. I did that with a Heimer. And it was spot on. With the one bolt in place, is enough to hold that template on the top or the fixture if you like. Uh, I've centered all the holes, well, four outside holes. I've got the coordinates of the four inner two. I'll just set up a slight difference in depth. I think there's say, three quarter inch deep here, whereas these are an inch and a sixteenth. Um, the reason they're deep is. The, a couple of them have got locating dowels in them, so I'll sort that out at a later date. So first priority, fill the holes and then tap them and then machine the balls. So there's the inner four holes about to be started. Uh, looks okay. These four went okay, but no problems with the way the program's running, so I'm quite happy. And when this is finished, I'm going to counterbore this hole and this hole to take a locating dial. Well, here we are, just starting to open out the pores in the top of the cylinder castings. I'm taking very light cuts because this is not a very rigid setup and I don't want to upset everything. Um, 
I did bring a tool down at the top of here and spent another hour resetting everything again. But it's not too bad. It's, it's a very light cut, relatively anyway. It's an intermittent cut and it's usually taken it off here. The program's working fine. So we'll just plod on with this and uh, see how it looks when it's that one's bored and then we'll move on to this one here. Well, we're now doing the second bow, as you can see. Actually, the, the castings here look in pretty good shape. There's not much in the way of blowholes. In fact, there aren't any. I haven't seen any in the mouth of the cylinder block. And also, the, the both bows are pretty reasonably close to to the the jig that I made up. You know, there's not much uh, there's not much eccentricity of the bores or off centre of the bores at all. In fact, I'm quite pleased with it. it. Should be should be a good fit when it's all assembled. So there we we'll see. There's another cut. I've got three more cuts to do, and that should be this. I should be able to try the cylinder on the top. Hopefully, it'll just drop in. I've given it about five foot clearance around the cylinder here. Just to allow for any slight misalignment. There shouldn't be any, but it's always easier. You shouldn't have to hell out of things to get them apart. But anyway, once the locating dowels are in, it'll be fixed in position properly. But there we go, the cylinder's on. With just enough look, it clears this. I'm amazed that's as far along this way. I can traverse the machine and it just, just lets me put the cylinder block in. That's great. I dropped in nicely. It's not going all the way down because there's a big lump of rag stuck under here. But basically it's fine. That looks good. And everything matches up here so I'll be able to drill these holes through and, and sort this side out. So I'm really pleased with progress. Well there we go. I've finished the counter boring of these two holes this one this one here and this one here and I've just tidied up the the mouth of the cylinder uh, casting just to it makes it easier for assembly it was quite there was quite an excess of material in there why does that always come on when I'm talking anyway that is all of this work finished on here for the time being that's coming off and a cylinder head for a car is going on next uh, for some remedial work but uh, I'll continue with this in 